for instance, in Mr. Al Hasawi's case, it revealed that uh, he was essentially sodomized with rectal examinations that were conducted without evidence of any medical necessity. The aftermath of that torture resulted in hemorrhoids, an anal fissure, and rectal prolapse, which translates into the fact that this man's rectum was torn and shredded. It's indication that there was waterboarding, also water dowsing, sleep deprivation, and adequate medical care and timely medical assistance. But this is not isolated to Mr. Al Hasawi. The Senate Intelligence Report is replete with instances of this torture. And the government's response may very well be that that was then and this is now. Uh, the reality is that Guantanamo Bay continues to be and continues to suppress uh, victims' torture, uh, torture victims' rights to speak, to seek rehabilitation, and to speak about the uh, things that happened to them while they were in confinement. Torture aims to destroy the integrity of a person and eviscerate the sense of self. It seeks to break its victim by imposing intolerable pain, often causing long-lasting physical injury and emotional scars.